Caleb Dressel, the man in the Hunter freestyle. I'm not gonna make a prediction because I don't want to jinx anything. World record, 46.91. Dressel, 0.60. He was quickest off the blocks on that with Hell, who was 0.59. Hell has the speed. He was 22.7 going out in the semifinals, right there with the red cap, two lanes above him. That's Caleb Dressel coming in the wall. Let's see what he hits. Splits here, 22.4 going out. Look at that turn. Last one to come up off that wall. Held hanging in there in six beneath him. It is Coleman Stewart in seven. The advantage for Dressel here. As they pass 25 meters to go, Dressel trying to hold off Held in six. Apple starting to close. He's right on that lane line. Caleb Dressel in lane four to the wall and to Tokyo on the U.S. team. 47-39 the time, equaling the top record swim in the U.S. all time. Caleb Dressel, back to the Olympic Games. Boy, that first one is such, such a huge deal. Again, he just uses every single muscle when he comes off that block. Explodes! I mean, look at that line when he gets to that 15-meter mark better than anybody else in the world. Ryan Held did a pretty good job, though, with that red cap. Held finished six, outside shot of making the team. Remember, they take the top four automatically. Blake Peroni, we've heard of these guys all the way down the stretch here. Dressel, Apple, Peroni. But how about Brooks Curry getting fourth? Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people know who Brooks Curry is. He'll make the Olympic team. Yeah, you mentioned because of the relay, it's the top four for sure. That guy is top of them all. Caleb Dressel in 47-39. Zach Apple also going. And Blake Peroni. And Brooks Curry. And there's a possibility for Becker and Ryan Held, who went out so fast, was right there with Dressel at 75 meters, but could not hold on in the end. And Caleb Dressel, who's had a, just a wonderful season all the way through in the stretch in between games, all the talk after 2019 and that record haul of eight medals at the World Championships. Feels like it's been an eternity since Rio and all of the success and the buildup and the hug with Dad and the rest of Team Dressel and Caleb Dressel. It's a little bit of exaltation, a little bit of relief as oh, well yeah. as you talk about, Rowdy. Oh, yeah, that, that's the big thing. It's just a relief. That first one is is the most important one. <laughs> Get that one out of the way. And I asked you about a month ago, who's the American? Uh, Michael Phelps spoiled us five medals, yeah. six, seven, he eight did. golds. He in did, Beijing. absolutely. Who's the American individual who could win the most medals? And you said it could that be guy that right guy. right there, seven. He's got a potential to win seven. Not going to be easy. The relays contribute to that. Right. That could be a big part of the relay team. So those guys are linked as teammates. And Michelle is with the four men who've made the U.S. Olympic team. Yeah, this is uh, this is quite a foursome here. Caleb, I'll let you do the talking. Second fastest time in the world this year. Where does that tell you about where you are as you head to Tokyo? Well, it certainly doesn't get easier. That hurt. That hurt real bad, but I'm happy with it. The goal is to get my hand on the wall first year. So we got the job done. You did that, and now you've punched your ticket to Tokyo along with the rest of this group. You'll likely be swimming the relays together. What do you make of these, these guys? It's a great four. I got to get to know this guy. We got a newbie on the team, so I'm excited to do work with these boys. All right, all four of you, the drum is waiting for your signatures. Congratulations. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Let's get to know each other, huh? 